In this video, we will be looking at inverse functions. Functions themselves are something I've spoken about in a previous video, but sometimes you are required to find the inverse of a function. So functions are denoted by f of x. The inverse of a function, therefore, is f to the power of minus 1 of x. I like to think of functions as machines. You begin with the x and manipulate it in a certain order to get the final equation. For example, question 1, f of x equals 2x plus 5. We've started with the x, you've multiplied it by 2, you've added 5, and you've ended up with f of x. Now let's say we need to find the inverse of that. We do it very similar to how we learnt to solve equations. You have to start with the f of x and you work in reverse. So you start with your x, we have to subtract it by 5 rather than add, and then divide it by 2, and that will leave you with your f to the minus 1 of x. So writing this out, we're going to have f to the minus 1 of x equals x minus 5 over 2. Just like that, it is solved. Question 2 now, very similar. We start with our x. We divide it by 3, we subtract 9, and we're left with f of x. Now in reverse, we would start with our x, we add 9, we multiply 3, and that leaves us with our f to the minus 1 of x. So again, x plus 9, all multiplied by 3, is equal to our f to the minus 1 of x and that is our solution and finally for our final question we have f of x equals x cubed minus 3 now we can approach this exactly the same we've just got a cubed in here so it doesn't really change anything it's just a different way of manipulating that x so we started off with our x we've cubed it first of all and we've taken away 3 that is produced our f of x now in reverse, we start with our x, we add 3, and then we cube root it, so again the opposite, and that gets us our inverse. So f to the minus 1 of x is equal to x plus 3, all under a cube root, and that is our final answer. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that helped.